this this is a homage beat. sacrifices um, but I said this foreshadows the once and for all sacrifice that would take away sin and reconcile God with man the temple was an essential part of Jewish culture because it was the symbol of peace with God I said therefore it was shocking to hear this person a person talking and proclaiming that he's gonna destroy the temple and raise it in three days and that person was Jesus this is found in um, John 2 19 so again you've got this individual if you put yourself in the context of, okay, I'm a Jewish person living during this time. The yeah, temple yeah. Is, is monumental for me. The temple symbolizes peace with God. I got somebody talking, I'm going to destroy this temple in three days. Raise it. Like, it, it's <laughs> going gonna, gonna to offend you. So it's like, yeah. for I don't know if you've heard that verse um, before. Yeah. What what the heck was Jesus talking about? How have you understood that verse, I guess, is, is, is the question that uh, um, that I have. Like, the first time I ever read that, man, I thought it was really weird. Like, I thought it was weird that Jesus would be like, yo, I'm about to just tear this down, and in three days, I'm going to raise it up. I'm like, yeah. what? I'm like, how you going to do that? Like, mm -hmm. I know you was a carpenter, but, like, <laughs> bro, like, it's going to take more than what are you, like, yeah, we thinking, like, in the, in the, the literal yeah, sense. I'm thinking in the literal <laughs> sense, but, like, as I read more, like, and I started to think more and learn a little bit more, I'm like, yo, he talking about his body. Mm. That's deep. Cause it's like nobody's gonna be like he's speaking like to them, but he's speaking kind of over them. He's kind of like, yeah, this is what I'm about. The temple mm -hmm. is me, is yeah. my body. Like this is the representation of me. This is pointing back to me. Everything that the prophecies in the Old Testament that you're rocking with and you're listening to and you digging in and you holding on to, they're pointing at me. Mm -hmm. I'm that man. So that's kind of where I got it from, mm -hmm. and that's kind of like one of my thoughts work on it. But I definitely want to hear you kind of. Yeah. Dig into that because it's like that's kind of what my point of viewpoint of mm -hmm. it was. That's why I kind of yeah. You know, and I think the people there they thought it of it as physical as well because yeah. I don't I, I haven't I got to read the the text again but I'm pretty sure they got mad at Jesus because <laughs> I know there's like several points where they're like we're gonna stone him and he like dipped out. I don't know if that's one of the points, but I, I'm pretty sure when they heard it, they they were certainly offended yeah, by it because mean, they thought he was talking about like the physical it's valid, um, it's temple. Valid. But I said when Jesus says he would destroy the temple, he was not referring to the physical building. I said yeah. Jesus was referring to himself because what he is the temple. Yeah. I say um, comfort and peace are found in uh, Jesus because he is the one who reconciles man um, with God. The temple was the symbol, the symbol of peace because sacrifices were made there. In order for sin to be reconciled, the payment of death had to be made. In the Old Testament, animal sacrifices uh, were means of payment. However, they were only meant to point to the sacrifice of the spotless lamb, Jesus. Jesus can call himself the temple because he is the one um, who has made peace between God and man by offering um, himself as a sacrifice. Um, and this is the question that I have because it's like, um, Jesus was the one who, who did these things. And we talk about being conformed to his image. Cause like you were saying, it's like all these people saying, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right. This yeah. is the, this is the way, this is that. How do we distinguish which way is the right way as opposed yeah. to which way isn't the right way? Because again, we talking about someone who conforms to their own will and does what they want. And let me see if I had the, um, verse and I was just talking about even I'm probably giving away the answer already I say if anyone had the right to do what they want it was Jesus yet Jesus did not do his will but he did the will of the one um who sent him and I and I, I, I'll just answer the question because I think I thought because like, I, I think I've told you before like the certain uh sentences that I had I was like I'm hoping that hits home because it just makes so much sense but I say how do you distinguish between righteousness and unrighteousness I say unrighteousness is self-seeking True righteousness is self-sacrifice because we was talking about it before. Um, I forget how exactly you phrased it, but it's like, you know, it's um, it's about giving of yourself. Yeah. Where it's like, um, I forget, I forget what the question was I had asked you, but essentially, it's like to acknowledge, um, to to reconcile with someone yeah. would would be to what deny yourself yeah, in a sense, so, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah self gratification. That's yeah. what we was talking about. Um, it's almost self-sacrificing yeah. where it's like I gotta see I gotta value you and your thoughts more than I value not to say that my thoughts aren't important but it's like if I'm just so consumed with how I feel 
I don't really care about you. And that's going to cause us to butt heads. And so it's like, that's how, and, and unrighteousness is so subtle because it's masked and I'm just looking out for me. And how many of us, that's, that's just natural. It comes natural to us. I'm just going to think what I want to think, do what I want to do. But it's like, if someone else has the same mindset and y'all conflict, then what happens? You know, it's got to be self-sacrifice. And I was talking about like, Jesus is the only one who can say, I could do whatever I want to do. I could do what I want to do. But yeah, he said, I'm going to set my right to do whatever I want to do to benefit you. And it's like, why would you not want to conform to that individual who what? Demonstrates himself to be self-sacrifice. Because like the thing, one thing that God has definitely been pushing me on is like this idea of leadership. Just putting me in like in these roles and, and, and certain things like that. And I'm more the one who wants to be behind the scenes, behind the camera. I don't want to be at the forefront. And it's like, how do you get people to listen to you? How do you get people to care with what you're caring about? And it's like, you got to be for the people. The people got to know that, hey, I'm going to do whatever it is for you, even if that comes at my expense. And it's like, you see somebody like that, that's who I want to follow. Yeah. That's who I want to model myself after. Someone what who not seeking to do their own will, yeah. but seeking to what give of themselves to be self-sacrificing in order to benefit someone else. So I guess, what, what are your thoughts about that? Because I think yeah. that's how you distinguish between that which is righteous and that which is unrighteous. It's going to be, righteousness is going to demonstrate itself to be self-sacrificing. Someone who unrighteous, they just think about themselves and what they, they can do. See, um, we make a, it's going to be another, like, one of pop culture. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Like, <laughs> know, um, me, we, me, and you, know, and a couple more brothers, we saw the Infinity War yeah. movie, mm -hmm. like, last week. And, like, it's going to be spoilers if nobody's seen that. But, like, the dude, <laughs> if the you villain, ain't seen it, stop listening. <laughs> the villain, like, Thanos... Mm -hmm. He sit here thinking that what he's doing mm. is beneficial yeah. to everybody in the universe. Like, but at the same time, he saw it as a self sacrifice for the calling that he had. Mm -hmm. But all the things he had to give up yeah. in order to fulfill that, and he ended up killing like all these people, people that were beneficial and to other people. He ended up killing them based on something that he felt was the right thing to do, mm -hmm. and it just created chaos and discord. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So just thinking about that and just seeing that, the issues that our own process and our own thoughts of about what is the right thing or what is the right way to go about things mm -hmm. that that can do as we just go forward in that, man. It's just like, whoa, like when I have this mindset of like, if I do it this way, my my thought process on what is righteous and what is good and what is right and what's going to be beneficial and what's going to balance things out and make comfort comfortable for everybody. If it conflicts with yours and we don't have an understanding of what the true standard is and we have a conflict on my standard is if I get rid of all these people, mm -hmm. we would be good. But my standard and then the other person's standard is like, well, we need to do what's best for everybody. We need to benefit everybody. Um, we need and we conflict on that and we don't agree, yeah. it's gonna be chaos and somebody's gonna get hurt in the end. Mm -hmm. But if we do have that set, but if we can come together as people and have that standard of like, okay, there's one standard. And if we get like, even if we disagree, we can come together and kind of work towards that. We're working towards a common goal. So mm -hmm. like that, it made, it made me think about that just a little bit as I read it. You know nah, and, that, and, that's, and that's dope because I think essentially, because what we argue and what I'm arguing is the fact that true righteousness is self-sacrifice, not self-seeking. They knows he wasn't sacrificing himself. He was sacrificing other people yeah, yeah. for a righteous cause. Yeah. And it's like, nah, bro, what, 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 what are you doing? And I heard, like, again, sorry if y'all listening for spoilers, because yeah. I was listening to a podcast, and they was like, so wait, he got to kill half of the universe in order for the other half to live. And he's got the infinity stones in yeah. order to do it. But he, they was like, why just not make the universe bigger? Exactly. Go on, go on, bro. Just make it just didn't more, make sense. more food for the But that's what he thought was right. That's yeah, what he exa believed. Exactly. That. Yeah. He thought what was right in yeah. his own mind. And that's how many, because, again, we got, I think po politics is too complex, but it, just follow my thought. Go ahead, like, go ahead. on the right, on the right, on the Republican side, they think in their mind they're doing things the right way. Yeah. On the left. The Democrats, the liberals, they think they're doing things the right way. No one says, I knowingly do, I know that I'm doing something wrong. They yeah. think that they're doing the right thing. Yeah. So who's right? Yeah. You know, are they right? Are they right? And it's like, it's, it's very complex because I think there's rightness on both sides, but then there's wrongness on the other side too. But it's like the true way to sift through all of that is like, which one seeks to exalt self? Mm -hmm. Which one seeks to exalt others? 
You know, which one comes at expense of your own self in order to benefit somebody else? What? Christ is that paradigm. Yeah. But it, he didn't kill other people. He got killed yeah. in order so that we wouldn't get killed. And that's like true righteousness right there. It's like, that's what we want to conform to. All of us want to conform to that which is right. Yeah. But the question is, what is right? Yeah. You know, right is that which is self-sacrifice. And it's like it happens yeah. so subtly because in Thanos' mind, he think, yo, I'm doing this. I'm doing something right. Yeah. But how many of us, I think I'm doing something right. Yeah. You know, but it's like, no, you, you just seeking self. Because if you was truly doing it, and that's yeah. a hard thing about it because even with conflicts with our spouses, it's like yeah. it would have to mean that I, I've got to give something up of myself. Uh, yeah. And we don't want to do that. It's hard. It's hard to, to walk down a righteous path because that means giving of ourselves. I don't want to give of myself. I want to yeah. give up my time. I don't have to do these things for somebody else yeah. who, number one, ain't going to do it for me. You yeah. know? And it's like, what if Jesus had that same mindset? You yeah. know, what, these people, because there's people who still going to reject Jesus. You know, so it's like, I'm, I'm going to do this for people who still going to reject me. Yeah. And that's a conundrum for like a lot of us. Like, we just sitting there like, I got to do this. I got to, like, give up this for me. This is what makes me comfortable. Dude, Thanos, he gave up. Like, Gamora asked him mm -hmm. in the end, like, what did it take to get it? What did it yeah. cost? He said everything. Mm -hmm. And then he's sitting there walking, looking at something. He had peace. But you could just tell yeah. the dude was still struggling. Mm -hmm. But the difference in that, he gave up and sacrificed all these other people. Yeah. Like, he sacrificed nothing. It really, it didn't really hurt him physically. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But Jesus... He gave up himself. Gave himself. He gave up himself. Like, that was the most unselfish thing. In a way, Thanos was, like, really, like, even though he thought he was balanced, he was selfish. Yeah. He killed people, got rid of them, banished people, burnt bridges. He didn't care because he yeah. had to fulfill his calling. Mm -hmm. But his calling was convoluted, man. He yeah. didn't, like, have a good understanding of what was going to benefit the most people, man. Mm -hmm. And then just the way you look at that and you're able to take that, it's just beautiful how we can, how the gospel and, like, how you can take it and you can understand, like, that Jesus was even more right in how he did it and how he went and he sacrificed himself yeah. for everybody. When you can even just look at it with other things, be able to have conversations about pop culture. But just, Jesus was so selfless, man. Mm -hmm. And it's just really like, it's it's overwhelming to think that, like how, how he just gave himself up for our peace and comfort in the end. Yeah. Our shelter in the end. Mm -hmm. He That's like the most selfless act to give up yourself for people that hate you, yeah. and even though you didn't do anything, mm -hmm. you did everything right. You did everything right. You did. They don't say do nothing right. <laughs> Dude was jacked up from the jump. Yeah. He was killing innocent people. Mm -hmm. It was messed up. It was foul. Like he did whatever it took. No matter who burned bridges he had to burn, he was gonna do it. Yeah. Because he had a mission. Mm -hmm. and he was gonna fix it, even though in the end it wasn't gonna benefit him really. Yeah. It's just going to give him some type of power and God complex that he was going to be like, yeah, I fixed the universe in my own mind. Yeah. And I ain't going to really deal with nobody because everybody now want to kill me. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to seclude myself. <laughs> but Jesus is like, no, I'm going to give up myself then I'm going to pursue you. Yeah. I'm not going to run away from you like Thanos ended up being a coward. Mm. Jesus ran towards yeah. the people that he sacrificed himself for. Man. Mm. It's deep, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, I say uh, comfort and peace uh, can only be achieved if everyone within the house is on one accord. If people yeah. are not on one accord, there will be chaos and dysfunction. Uh, this principle is seen on a cosmic scale. The universe is God's house, and men simply have the responsibility of managing it. If men are to uh, men are not to do as they please. They are to do as the master of the house pleases. Mm -hmm. uh, for most, this is foolish. Therefore, most disregard God and manage his house however they see fit. Men are not on one accord with God. As a result, chaos and dysfunction. Men are self-seeking. Uh -huh. Therefore, they do what they want regardless of how it affects others. This is a characteristic of unrighteousness. Those who are unrighteousness only care about themselves. However, when two unrighteous people disagree, it results in chaos. The problem is no one is righteous righteousness.